Yo, yo, how is it going there, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for stopping and by. I do appreciate you very, very much. So, a quick little video for you guys. It's basically just an update for how things are going with myself and just a little showcase of what's, uh, what, what kind of shenanigans it is that I've got going on. We have a, not exactly a, a, a new build for you, but just something <clears throat> you know I could I could kind of play around with, play around with. So let's just get right into it. If you haven't seen the last video, please do feel free to check it out. Even though we will go over the stuff and the things here for you. So as you guys already know, with the basis of the build, we go for the explosive traps, which we have fire for effect, defense rate, mass destruction, rate, melee, tenacity. Proton beams, frosty beams, defense rate, destruction, pylon, tenacity, poison, defense rate. We also have the earth protons with frosty beams, vampiric empowerment, and defense rate. We have defense rate right across the board for all of these defenses, so we're keeping everything overcapped in case we want to use these for frosty lanes. It's it's convenient, but at the same time, if you're doing this one player, you're actually going to lose a lot of power if you're facing lanes that aren't frosty. So yeah, you can kind of pick and choose whatever it is that you're looking to do here. Uh, but the the new type of flavor that we could we could kind of tweak and change it, however it is that we see fit. We have le buff beam. Yes, we have a le buff beam, and again, like you can kind of tweak this to your own advantage uh, here. But what I can do now is I can actually add in. An oil geyser and then and a flame aura and we're at 190 du you could drop that down if you so if you feel feel like you know you could drop this down to one trap if you would like you know one 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 trap in there um some people might even want to potentially you know take take this up to 210 and get get these even more powerful you know the explosive trap and and the flame out of here, but the little extra spice uh, of what it is that we have is we actually have automation here on the buff beam, and we also have automation on the oil geyser here. So the oil geyser automation deadly strikes defense rate rate range. It has earth on it, but please just ignore that. It was all about actually just having this function without like uh, there was nothing here. It's basically it was all about just finding a way to get the automation in and oil to burn. If we were going to add in this flame aura, then you know maybe you're potentially going to drop one of these traps and then build it, build it like this, you know, with just one trap in the middle. Get that twenty five percent extra damage, you know, and see see how the lane works for you. Again, you know, you could still have the two traps and it, it would still be at one ninety du. It's a little just ten a tenner over that 180 du uh, but yeah we now have a full anti-verse anti-verse tenacity build rocking right here it is a little bit of work it is a lot of different things again the main main thing about this build is the explosive traps and the proton beams that's basically where you're going to have a big bulk of this this was basically just me layering in stuff around this centric build of of basically this you know pretty much just just this you know like what can we add what can we change what, what do we do in terms of, of mutators and stuff like that so we could basically run I'll, I'll do like a quick, quick little run through um, so, yeah, like, the base, as you know, like, it's two explosive traps, okay? Like, I'm not going to get too picky, but the basis of the build right there is this. If you're able to add in some sort of boost, that's also very handy. If it's a long shot lane, still slamming something down like this and then hum having something at the back, you know, to, to help you out, whether it's a PDT... It's an air shatter, it's a ramster, ballista, cannonballs, you know, like, if it's a long shot lane, you know, you, it, this probably won't hold. It'll do really great, but then climbing floors, you might notice long shot lanes, it, this could potentially stop working for you, so you might, you know, you're still happy to layer this in and then, you know, have your long range in there. And then, because of the lovely little 
fissures that we have here at the melee anti orc and defense rate destruction, the early strikes defense rate. We can add these in, you know, determinant to just whenever there's frosty lanes, really. Um, there's actually a nice little trick that I, I found out that I could do uh, most recently, and it's I could have the buff beam down here, yes, like so, and then I could actually take off this fissure relic here, swap back over to this guy, and kind of go at an angle here, like at the side, so this kind of nicks, nicks the corner here. You can actually fit in another one right here. And then you could slam your relic back in again and then look like 200 du and this like for a frosty lane with no cyborgs this is this is pretty good like we do not have a tenacity set up here this is more about an overclock for the frosty orcs again like i don't need to worry about that these three defenses here are overclocked so um you know, uh, you could do, you could do it like this. You know, obviously, right now I can't I can't really utilize a reflect beam in any sort of way. If I was going to say do it like this, I would have to drop say uh, more likely the buff beam. I would think, or like or the oil geyser, one of the two. Uh, it's debatable which one which one you could really let go of. You know, more power or burn or burn or more power. Like it's it's both tit for tat. Um, so that's one of the things that you could technically do. Uh, again, you know, there's there's other things. You know, you could you could boost it if you want to. There's 180 if you just want to fully utilize this type of build. Again, if there's no cyborgs, it helps. You know, you can add and t tweak and you know figure figure out where you're going to put your stuff in your things. You know, if you, if if you need to do that in order to protect all this, and you know, it's, it's like I don't know, you still want to get this in here. That's still 200 du. You know, it's basically just make use of your automation shards, kind of like what I'm doing. You know, tweak and have fun with this uh, uh, as you see fit. You could drop this down to one trap, you could have two traps, you know, add a flame aura, you know, out boost aura. Like, it, it just really depends on what you have and what you could really tweak and change. Uh, but yeah, thanks very much for stopping on by. I do appreciate it. Hopefully, this wasn't too long winded. But. I hope you enjoyed the anti-verse build and yeah, meme it up chat and meme it up, yeah. And it's, as you, as you heard there, anti-diverse, that's because anti is king, okay? Diverse is second, so anti-verse. <laughs> Thanks very much, have a good one, take it easy. Feel free to stop on by live streams. Uh, original Omni, thanks very much. Take it easy, have a good one, and I will see you later. Later, 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 woohoo, woohoo.